Hello, my name is Ryan Boyd, and I'm on the developer relations team here at NEO. And I wanted to share some of the exciting things that developers have been saying recently on Twitter about our latest release. The Neo4j 2.2 release added many exciting features focused around scalability, performance, and usability. Let's first talk about scalability and performance. Matthias, a software engineer at the Supply Hub B2B Marketplace and Community, says that he updated from 2.1 to 2.2 and his tests are running 100% faster. That's pretty awesome and saves every developer time to have their tests run faster. Meanwhile, Matt Wright, the CTO of the Stitch Recruiting Tool, said he's seeing a magical 20% performance improvement. But performance isn't all about query performance. What about the performance of getting your data into Neo4j? Well, Nicole White, a data scientist here at Neo4j, was able to import 44 million nodes and 86 million relationships in only four minutes using the new import tool available in 2.2. We've also made Neo4j a lot easier to use out of the box. We've added a tutorial using the Northwind dataset to show master data management in Neo4j. You can download Neo4j, install it, and start working on this tutorial in less than two minutes. Security is critical for databases. Previously, our users put Neo4j behind a proxy server with HTTP authentication or uses other mechanisms to add authentication to Neo4j. Now authentication is built in, eliminating a few steps for those DevOps and sysadmins out there and making their lives easier. We're all about making lives easier, so we've greatly improved the day-to-day -day usability of Neo4j. And we've made Neo4j prettier as well. Or rather, the Neo4j browser got bling bling, according to Johanna Schuth, and that's a pretty high compliment for Neo4j. As Chris and Amanda tell us, the 2.2 release is a very big deal, and now is a great time to get started with Neo4j. Let us know what apps you end up building with Neo4j, and feel free to reach out to myself, Ryan Boyd, and my colleague Michael Hunger on Twitter or ask questions on Stack Overflow if you need any help getting started.